So today in the studio, we have the CEO of Edge Studio in New York City. He has cast and directed thousands of voiceover productions, and he is also a coach and mentor to beginning voice actors, working pros, and celebrities. We have an amazing contest to announce and so much to talk about, so it's time to get buzzed with the fabulous David Goldberg. Yeah, David cool, Goldberg. Put it there, buddy. Hi, thank welcome, you. fellow East Coaster. Well, Man, you, you, uh, you, 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 Yes, I'm from New York. Very nice. Ah, mm -hmm. see? Something you didn't we know trade already. Places, yeah. By I the know. way, we got a little. I love this weather. It's kind of chilly here in LA right now, so it's making me. Uh, feel absolutely. I came how? out here for the weather, right? <laughs> well, yeah, and it's you cold. It's well, cold no, you here. flew out here. How yeah. are your uh, your arms? Feeling good the, from flying? Yeah, yeah. Boom, yeah. Boom. Are you okay yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's that's like, feathering me up. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, we're gonna get right into it, man. I want to know because you know you have a really cool background in music and stuff, recording, which I do as well. And uh, but how did you go from that? into this wonderful world of voiceover. Drugs. Drugs. Let, let us, tell us a little bit about it, man. Uh, the, the music industry is so much fun, right? Yeah. And I miss it terribly, I really do. Uh, I worked with great, wonderful musicians, editing, engineering, mm -hmm. directing, um, but the drug scene was huge with the bands that I worked with. Yeah. Massive, crazy, crazy things, things that I never saw in college. Were they rock bands, pop rock bands, bands? Rock bands? Big rock yeah. bands, oh, yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah, the arena rock bands, the classics, and and the irony is I don't even love that kind of music, but the guys were great. Yeah, yeah, I loved yeah. working on the music. And you're an engineer, so you know, just working on music is just such, if you have the passion for it, it's terrific. Yeah. And um, yeah, we did a lot of work, and I did really well, and my name was really getting well known. Um, but the drugs were just out of this world. And I was driving home from a studio once. I think I was stoned out of my mind from secondhand smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and I got back, and I said to my wife, I think it's time to go drug-free. And I, and I became a drug-free studio within a month, and I lost half of my clients. Wow. And a month later, I became a smoke-free studio, oh, and there went the other half of my clients, right? Yeah. And I was left with great microphones. They had the old classic Neumanns and yeah. whatever, like the, like the U, uh, 47s and 67s and yeah. great stuff, and padded rooms, mm. and no clients. Wow. And so when I was 14 and 15, my mom did some voiceover, and I wrote some background jingle music, and, and I thought, well, there's voiceover. Maybe that's something to use my microphones on, and... So, yeah. that's that's so, that's so how really so it, it was kind of like. So you never me. you never thought, okay, I'm not going to do music anymore. I'm just going to do voiceover. It actually was like a little bit of an accident. Mm. It totally. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Normally, people <laughs> nobody tells engineers that listen. Just because the rock bands do the drugs doesn't mean you have to. Nobody uh, told you that. Uh, uh, well, unless when you're driving home from studios, it's thrown out of your mind. So it's yeah. hard, you know. You just because so, just being there, yeah. Now you know what Neve is, right? Beautiful big boards. Oh and yeah, board, right? gorgeous. So, yeah. So I was working at a studio with a, a real classic uh, Neve board from Todd Rundgren's studio. The, yeah. the actual his actual board yeah. with body. Just so the people that don't know, these Neve boards, how much did, did these, these things cost back in those days? God, it was probably uh, three hundred thousand dollars or something. Three hundred thousand wow. dollars for the, a mixing the board. The tables were built for them because yeah, they yeah. were so, so enormous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're talking like really, really expensive Which, stuff. Which uh, more can be done on this iPhone right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, we had these big boards, and and I used to lie, pretty sort of white lie to yeah. our clients that the smoke, even cigarette smoke, was bad oh, for the yeah. mixers and the microphones. Which yeah. there's some truth to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but that that was the story I used. But it was just hard to keep the drugs out of the studio. Right. You know, right. And so. Yeah, and the little, uh, you had a little mask on, and but that wasn't a good luck, huh? <laughs> I never did the mask. I yeah. probably should have. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, well, that's good. I have a lot of respect for you for standing your ground and saying enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes a lot to just yeah. say, hey, you know what? It's not about the money. It's about, you know, me and about the environment and about doing right and being right and being good. Not that those, hey, I was one of those guys, by the way. <laughs> so, you know, you're not alone. I, it's you, out now. Yeah, exactly. Well, they know. Everybody Say sorry, knows. Chuck. Yeah, everybody knows. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and today, you know, everything is like clean and, you know, that's the way we like it. But mm -hmm. now in that whole voiceover world that you're in now, I, I want to know what, how, okay, so that's how you got into it. But then how did Edge start? 